What's going down everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Mac and you're at the MacGyver 7 channel, filled with great technological events that goes down for AMD, Nvidia, PlayStation, the world, gaming, anything that's going down I'm usually covering it, which usually brings me to great news, but today is really not that good of great news in AMD. And it's unfortunate for me to have to bring this to you guys and gals that are community members that have always been with the M7 community. So today, unfortunately, AMD seems to be dropping the ball on the 20.4.2. So we'll be looking at the performance issues, we'll be looking at the patch, and we'll be looking at hopefully a future for my mid patch notes. So stay tuned to that as you'll start to see that the Windows drivers affect this tremendously. So maybe, hopefully, this is an Easter egg of AMD's that they're banking on a Windows update in the near future. So let's go ahead and get down to what's going down for the patch. The list today is not too bad. So we can digest some of the changes for Gears Tactics and the Predator Hunting Ground that's been introduced inside of the gameplay for as far as what we're going to have. With fixed issues taking a greater look at the RX Vega series inside the graphics product may experience some hangups for as far as what they were trying to find in the home. That is the running application and the hardware and the acceleration of the video content. Um, so hopefully that th this is something that's actually been fixed and mild over, especially with such a big performance hit. They've had to have done something to either to fix a lot of things or it just isn't good for all you FPS fans at the very end of this when we look at the benchmarks. Looking at the system crashes that have been fixed for the experiencing portion of the Edge browser went to play at Netflix, which would make sense that they would have to concern these towards a lot of people in Staycation 2020 as they're watching stuff. So again, this might be a really stable uh, update. So I'm really curious to hear what other people are installing, if they're getting performance uh, updates, if it's maybe like an RDNA comb style situation. So you can see maybe, maybe an RTX uh, model would not be as good as a situation versus an RX 5700 that's beating the crap out of an NVIDIA card because it just has the proper um, update and the driver installed. So, I mean, you don't know. Sometimes the proper software and hardware can be the key success for a fine wine to divine yourself into a great FPS experience. But looking on past that little spill, we have the exploit that may experience some hangups inside of the freeze inside of the performance and the screens and the splits. Looking at the minor shutters that occur before the performance inside of the task, switching before the performance and the overlays inside of the games. Man, they're, they're boasting a lot of stuff got fixed. Overwatch may experience some intermittent crashes when then entering games inside of that for as far as the gameplay sessions. And now we're going Coming down to our RX 5700, and the graphics series comes down to a configured portion of intermediate experience where the black screen was prevalent. So hopefully that fixed it. A lot of display stuff, though I did have a lot of really cool comments come into play for as far as how you could fix that, and I thought that was really interesting. I was going to follow up on a whole other episode later on about like if that works and testing it and if it is then that's really great because then there'll be just a direct fix for that uh moving on past that situation we do have some experienceable points for the software itself may be experiencing some crashes when the games are non-alphameric inside the characters inside the game titles so hopefully the radeon software now can read your games apparently it was having issues with that inside the rx vega series we have the products that are experiencing some of the game crashes inside of microsoft teams and the accelerated enable the unenabled requirements for as far as the error messages inside of the intermittent occurring when the view of the upgrade in the advisors inside the Radeon software tab was enabled. Looking at the RX Vega series and then again making the list, which I really wish they would just like <clears throat> put the Vega in like its own quadrant and then RX 5700 and all these other things just split it up into like it would look so much easier on the eyes. Everything was together, but I mean call me aesthetic, but that's just me. Um, looking on past that situation, um, which is just me going off on a tangent about AMD's like writing on their like um, page. We can see that, that that's very minute compared to the TDR when experiencing the games in the instant replay and the record for as far as the desktop enabled. So hopefully that's gonna be something that's gonna be fixed for all y'all on top of the resolve inside of the install for the issues for the error 1603, which occurred in the application uh, prerequisites for the C++ that was not correctly detected as an install. 
So looking at past point and what they have said, well, what is still out there? You know, the known issues. Like, what are we looking at? The enhanced sync in the black screen, which they're already talking about black screens. I'm not, I'm not digging this. This better be a solid bulletproof freaking driver to lose this much performance. Again, I'm still not comfortable about how much performance was lost in the situation. Looking at the um, portions of the experiencing um, enhanced sync and the enable portions of the disabled uh, temporary workarounds, um, that's basically what you're going to have to do using the edge browser when playing the video content multiple display screens okay so they at least they say multiple display screens and the system hang up so many experiences it's no longer just netflix but it's like man you literally just said you fixed that and then it's on the list it was like darn it amd are you just saying that certain models you should just put the video card that it's having the issue with uh, but looking at that situation and the metric overlays inside the Wattman may incorrectly read the higher clock on the 5700 used to be the radeon 7 but no longer Seems like they kind of got that under wraps and my Radeon card the one thing I'll do have to admit is when I do run the benchmarks It has gotten incredibly smoother when you compare the way the quality of it interfacing with a benchmark It almost is very close to way um, My RTX card and that's why I made the humor earlier in the segment and would handle it with the way it just like moves without any jitters or micro quakes across the screen where you start to see a little like tear and ripple of the fps effect on something you got hung up on and you got stuck on causing that like um i guess frame rate tear so looking at the situation that is there i've seen a lot of improvements that's why it's like I mean, it does look solid. When I was doing benchmarks, I was impressed, like the way it looked. I just wasn't impressed with the end result when I was looking at that score, and I was like, oh, crap. But let's go ahead and dive back into the known issues so we can take a closer look at what's going down. So as you can see where we left off for as far as the higher clock, we can see that this modifying HDMI scaling for as far as the slider may cause an FPS to become locked at 30, which would be really crappy if you're trying to get 60 FPS and get a little bit more of an edge on an actual like maybe first person shooter too as well. On top of the situation for the games that may be experiencing some shutters in the intermediate portions of the RX 5000 series products on some of the gameplay. Looking at the Vega series, making the list in the products experiencing a system TDR, they're performing multitasking using the alt tab. So if you're using the alt tab, that is why your TDR lockup is coming about. Basically, that's what they're showing you. Um, they don't know how to work around that, but people like to like... <clears throat> They have issues with what's going down with that, so they must love it. So AMD is going to have to find a workaround. Um, looking at the situation of the desktop in the in-game corruption for as far as the intermediate portions of the HDR when it's enabled, on top of the direct portion of the direct ML media filter that occurred in the unavailable portions of the Radeon software in the media gallery for the videos or the image content. Using some of the situations for as far as what's going down with the black screens inside of the system hangups, you can have the variable point of the AMD continue to monitor and investigate the situation. So they're basically saying it's an open issue. If you're having this, please submit it. They'll basically look into it and you'll see updates like me updating stuff and if you're new to the network you can totally subscribe it's absolutely free helps me as a creator you can slam that little liberty bell down below gets all the notifications we get these live which is a brand new platform so it's kind of nice to tell my community of techies and techettes out there that this is not really a good one to install yet i, I emphasize yet because i might roll out a mid patch note and who knows maybe i'll be like holy crap it's like breaking my system with a power level of 9000 amd has a you know, well, a knack of doing that. If not, you can always stay tuned for the overclocking I'm going to be doing later on this week, which is going to be pretty cool. So, community members, you're going to have a fun few AMD segments to look forward to because I'm going to be pushing my Radeon 7 card to the newer platform because I was looking back at the 19 um, software when it first cracked into the 2020 software with the very tail end of 2019. And quite frankly, I think it's a little bit overdue. It's the almost the end of the first quarter of what's going down for the year cracking into the second quarter and well we have some new software so let's see if there's any hidden and unlocking portions of an overclock so i'm going to basically issue a brand new segment so stay tuned to that 
as we stay tuned to the known issues that are going down the list past the ML media filter. Which the experience team past that situation of the black screens, it brings us to the very last issue that's out there on top of there on some laptops encountering a BSOD when installing the Radeon Adrenaline Software 2020 on an over existing OEM graphics driver to work this around, which is just a brand new issue because I've never seen this on here. So if you're new to the network and you're having an issue with your Radeon laptop, let's find out together right now. Looking at the first install, the OEM graphics driver and utilize the program feature within the control panel once completed install the radeon oh my goodness i just figured out how to, wow we just learned something together everyone so this further my point because i actually now have another segment that i'm going to talk about that's going to be coming out for the amd is how to do a clean install and that was the last piece of the puzzle right there because i had known how to do, do one really really well but this just basically showed me what i need to do in order to basically not right over what's going down. So we'll get into that during that segment, which is gonna be really fun. So stay tuned to that one as well. But right now it's benchmark time. And as you can see right now, I have one of my Hall of Famers just kind of chilling there. And let's look at today's results. So DirectX 12, we'll start 1080p. How's the size up? Not good. So looking at the most mid patch note that i ran with the most up-to-date windows which was looking promising i even said at the very end of that video that if amd delivered a solid driver it'd probably perform really freaking well well as i scratch my my eyebrow um yeah it didn't because when you look at this score you're just like what the heck that is some solid reduction look at that dun 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 we're like literally losing 30 points on our graphics score but does it continue yes it does because looking at the 20.4.1 and it's prime or prime ish, should I say, before Windows kind of tanked it a little bit and then brought it back to life like some zombie. Um, you can see that it's not too shabby right there, but when we look at what's going down here, well, yeah, there's actually some reduction. So 1080p, 4K, all DirectX 12 is kind of a hot mess for as far as performance. It's not going forward, it's moving backwards. Now let's start with the basics of DirectX 11. Personally, myself, like, I was already experiencing situations that I was not too fond of with the introduction of the 20.4.1. To be completely honest, like, it, you see Windows going up and down, and it really just didn't retain its value of the 2100 Club and above, uh, which it had prior to this, which was pretty cool. I, I definitely liked that, like, scoring, and it was pretty chill. But when you look at this, this is where I was just, like, so astounded on what was going down. I was just like, Oh, it's a solid 800 points on like the combined score. But if you look at like freaking like your graphic score, your graphic score literally takes a thousand points. That's not good. So to size that up, we're going to take a closer look because I really want to show people what's going down here. So this is what we're looking at with the 20.3.1. Pretty good performance if you look at this situation, right? Now we suit over to the 20.4.1. Not too bad when you have the proper Windows installations during the very beginning. And then it kind of tanks and goes up to what I showed before, which is the more recent version of Windows being installed. So it was never AMD that affected this. It was completely Windows as we try to trail the performance and going down to it. Now with Windows up to date and everything, the only performance catalyst that changes is the 20.4.2 and look at that you literally lose three percent three percent that is hella not good so I, i'm definitely issuing don't don't install wait for my mid patch notes if i say it's good then go for it um or unless you want to try it and see if there is performance and gains, there could be. I mean, I just have a Radeon 7, so maybe it's exclusive to just my card losing performance. So, if you want to be a risk taker inside of the uh, situation, and who knows, maybe you'll be watching my uh, clean install video because you're like, well, it just didn't go well. Just like the current Windows driver, where you're like, hey, it's not too bad, but then you go down to this update and you're like, it's kind of bad. To finish this up, as we go through the extreme to the ultra, the consistency is worse than a Windows security driver dropping down to almost a clean 60 points 
But looking at the situation as you're looking down there and you can kind of see where we're losing a lot of these portions, it's not good. And and I put 60 as immediate because, you know, it's like you're going to have the fluctuation of the plus and minus. So you always multiply your score uh, either way. Um, so that way you can kind of get where you're going down to. performance increases and having a consistent uh, platform to talk about uh, but everyone I'm going to head and say if you're new to the network you can always subscribe it's absolutely free it helps me as a creator and returning community members take a good segment will point of digesting the patch notes that I have at the mid segments the windows updates that I'm gonna be rolling out in between here and there that way you can kind of feel a little bit more reassured if you have issues and stay tuned to that um, clean install that I'm going to be pushing out there since we got this little tidbit of information on this video which is kind of cool and I've always been wanting to do that and the overclocking videos that I'll have even rolling out very soon on personally my um, favorite like um, OS driver that I want to like overclock and then one of AMD's current so that way we can have a current contender of what they're doing something I think that will be kind of workable and I kind of have something I want to digest but I have to run some test results to kind of see and then go from there so everyone stay classy stay safe I will see you guys and gals in the near future and if you subscribe today who knows maybe Elgato will make a transformer and that'll be really cool because Elgato is amazing and they had a lot of downtime so I don't know if you know the next stream card they're gonna come out it's like all new Elgato Transformer Pro you never know. And if that is time to show, I will be covering that. So you can always stay tuned to that. Techies and techettes, stay classy, and I'll see you later.